All right, so I'm out in the garage today working on headlights. And what I'm going to be doing is looking at some LED bulbs to upgrade a halogen golf cart headlight. So I've got two golf carts here. On the right, we have a Club Car DS. And it has a set of aftermarket halogen headlights. And these are a very popular, cheaper headlight that you can get for your Club Car. And if you look, if I unscrew the bulb, you'll see that it is just a standard 37 watt, and this is in this case it's an 889 is the number on the bulb, which is more of a fog light bulb for a vehicle. But it just fits in the housing and it is very poorly aligned. All right. And then on the left I have a EasyGo RXV. This has an aftermarket set of headlights, but these are the LED aftermarket headlights, which actually work very well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the difference between these two headlights and then show you what I'm planning to do to these to make them work a little bit better. Alright, so here's both sets of lights turned on. Obviously the LEDs have a much cooler color temperature. They both seem bright when you're looking into them. Now I'll turn off the lights and we'll see what the pattern looks like. Alright, so first thing I'm going to show you is what the LED headlights on the EasyGo look like. So you can see the pattern. It's uniform, like a floodlight, kind of like a headlight should be, projecting brightly in front of me on the garage door. Just going to turn that off. Now I'll turn on the lights. Okay, so you can see, as you can see, that is a horrible output. It's just basically putting it out in very large rings. So there's a lot of glare coming off the headlights, which we'll probably be using this off-road, so that doesn't really matter, but it doesn't really put any usable light down the road where we need it. So honestly, the headlights in their stock form are pretty useless, and a lot of it is due to the aiming of the bulb. So if I show you here, if I loosen this bulb, and you see if I pull it back, you can see that I'm adjusting the focal point, and I can make a much brighter hot spot just by moving the bulb. So obviously, this is what we're going for. I want the nice, uniform, bright output just like the RXV has. Alright, so I got two different rather inexpensive LED headlight bulbs to compare. That way I can see if there's anything out there for a good price. Uh, they're both around ten to fourteen dollars for the pair. I'll leave a link below in the description for both of them and we're gonna try them out. Alright, so here's the two different bulbs. You can see this one it's a relatively popular replacement. It's got a little bit of a projector type lens on the front of the LEDs and it's got multiple smaller LED chips arranged all around it. So this should give us a lot more light in different focal areas. So it'll still put light everywhere but maybe it'll be more usable light. And this one also has a little bit of a projector on the front but it has larger LEDs in a more concentrated area. So we're going to try each of these, replacing them, replacing the halogen bulb, and we'll make a little comparison. Alright, so for reference, here's kind of what we're going for. Alright, and this first set, this is the XT Auto. Okay, so it's definitely a lot better than the halogen bulbs, but there's still quite a noticeable pattern, I guess, like a circular pattern being displayed, especially when we compare it to the output on the real LED headlights. Got a 
much cooler color temperature. And the headlights are aimed down as far as they will go. Alright, so there's the XT Auto bulbs. These are the ones that have the larger LED. These are the L-U-Y-E-D. That's how it's spelled, LED bulbs. They had multiple chips. So, again, for reference, this is kind of what we're going for right here. Okay. And there's what we have. All right, so, again, a little bit more of a pattern. We'll turn them on side by side. But it is better than the last one. So they're not quite as bright. And you can almost see all the little LED panels in there. But it is much better than the halogen and, in my opinion, better than the first LED bulb. I will say that the actual the pattern is showing up better on camera than it is to the naked eye in person. So I am happy with the second ones, the L Y or L U Y E D. I'm not sure how you pronounce that LED bulbs. Okay, so here's the three next to each other again. Obviously the focal point on this halogen bulb is gonna be way up here. This one is way down here, and this one kind of covers both bases, I guess you could say. So I honestly thought that this one would work the best just by looking at how it's constructed as far as light output and it did not disappoint. It also was just a little bit more expensive. That doesn't mean that these aren't necessarily decent bulbs for the extremely low price but it's just a matter of you know this one has better reviews and it's used a little bit more often for golf cart headlights so that's probably the one that I would recommend for you if you're just looking for an inexpensive replacement there are more expensive options that you can get that have much brighter outputs and they usually have a heat sink or a cooling fan built onto them and that's how you can tell all right I'm actually outside take it for a little spin with the lights so we can really try them out all right look pretty good So I think we know which bulbs I'm going with and hopefully this video might help you out if you're looking to upgrade your headlights for really cheap on your uh, golf cart. Obviously the best way to do it would be to switch over to a set of actual LED headlights. But for $10, you really cannot complain. I think they look great. They work good. Much better than the halogen bulbs that they replaced, which are just putting light out all in the wrong places. So give the video a like if it helped you out, subscribe for more, and leave a comment if you have any questions. Like I said, I'll leave links below to the bulbs that I used in case you want to buy them yourself.